Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing day eight. Yeah, day eight of the eighth day of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Uh, I am here in Columbia, South Carolina, capital city, I think. Uh, the ace on the outskirts of it. So I'm just hanging out. Uh, so I'm probably going to do the weekly premium poem a little bit later. Just going to try to do this poem as fast as I can. If I'm a little bit lazy, then my apologies. It seems like I have a video, probably, I would guess, in 2022. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I'm having a good time here. Uh, it's always good to celebrate the union of a couple of my friends. Um, and, you know, it's just a very joyous time. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> let's take a look at today's farm. Today's farm, we have 523 continuous subarray sum. Given an integer array nums and an integer k, we turn true if nums has a good subarray of force otherwise. A good subarray is if a length of 2, the sum of the elements of the subarray is a multiple of k. Okay, so. Okay, uh, so subarray is contiguous, and that really means that. Uh, for me, immediately, it's going to be some sort of prefix sum, right? Um, because basically, subarray is, um, you know, because the idea about prefix sum, and here we have the sum of a subarray, um, the idea behind prefix sum is that p sub i is equal to, say, a sub 0 plus a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus dot 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 plus a sub i minus 1 plus a sub i, right? Something like this. And then p sub, sub uh, mm, let's just say uh, j, where j is less than i, is equal to the same thing, except for, with j, right? A little bit lazy. I <laughs> hope you could still follow. But because j is less than i, we also means that this happens here in some way, right? Uh, yeah, and then now if you do p of j minus 1, then you just get this. So then now, oh, sorry, whoops. And then so now, <clears throat> you want to get the sum of um, i and j inclusive, then it is just p sub i minus p sub j minus 1. Again, I'm a little bit lazy today, my apologies. Hopefully that's kind of, um, you know, um, at least get you started on exploring this idea, right? Uh, okay. So then now we have to see where the subarray is a multiple of k, right? So then what does that mean? That means that we want to find, sorry, there's like flies or something around. But p sub i minus p sub j minus 1, this mod k is equal to 0, right? What's in that? Uh, and technically, you can. Uh, this isn't quite precise mathematically. What this is is that is equal to zero under mod, under modular k or something like this. I forget the exact vocabulary, but something like this, right? Under k modular k space. And what that also means is that in a way, p sub i is equal to p sub j minus. Well, this is this minus one is a little bit awkward. This should be like something like this if you want to read it that way. Uh, under modular k, right? And so now, then the problem becomes much more straightforward. We just kind of see which, where this is possibly true. And we can possibly say, uh, we can see where this is possibly true by just looking at this one at a time, right? And, uh, and just storing it as we go to leave it for the future, right? So when here we do something like this, and it's going to link up nums, right? And the two steps, one is look at the past j's, or j minus 1, if you will, uh, to see if this condition exists, right? Uh, oops. Um, so then maybe we have something like a lookup. Uh, and here, we don't even care about the index or anything. It's a binary solution, so we can even put this as a set, right? So then we can say, um, and we have a current, 
so that now we, to get piece of i, we just keep on adding things, right? We get the prefix sum, so we have duh, 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 right? And then if, and then maybe we can just mod k in anyway. So if current is in lookup, then we return true. And then now, if it's not, then uh, use this i as future j's, or technically j minus ones if you want to put it. So then now we say lookup dot add current, and that's it. And then if none of this hits, then you have force. I think this is right. I'm trying to think whether there's an off by one where I do insert zero. I don't think that's true because you, you, we don't want to. Oh, wait, do we? Yeah, we do want to insert zero. The reason why you want to insert zero is because you want to. Um, <clears throat> so, something like this. The reason is because you want to make um, this represents the no set, right? Meaning uh, J in this case is equal to. I guess j is equal to zero, so then th this is this is just no set. So yeah, so we want to put that just to make sure, right? I, um, and we can kind of make sure, right? Uh, because we can use the same input and just do like twenty three and make sure that that should work, right? And apparently I'm wrong. So where am I wrong? I'm wrong on. Um, I'm wrong on the case that I put, which is good because um, because that's what we wanted to do. But why am I wrong? Hmm. So current is zero. We added zero. So then current add twenty three. We modded by k. So this should be true. Did I misunderstand this? Oh 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 oh. That's. <clears throat> Okay, I missed one part, which is that its length is at least two. So we have to think about how to handle the length is equal to two part, which I just totally did not do, right? Mm. I mean, the one way that you could do it um, is just by delay adding this, right? Because we want to add this one step behind, if you will. Um, because basically we want to add this only when there's two spaces left, right? So maybe we can say Q is equal to, I don't know, well, well Q is equal to collections of Q or deck, I suppose. And then you could do something like Q dot add zero, right? Uh, and then here we replace with Q dot add current. But then the thing is that if length of q is greater than one that means that's two or more elements then we want to say look up dot at q dot pop left uh, hmm. oh q is um yeah append right yeah i think it's a pen so i i am not 100 percent right now clearly and yeah and this fixes it because then now what happens is that it delays adding on it right because what, what we're doing now is that it waits until the two has been processed before you can algebraically do the other one. So then now it requires like a almost like a sliding window in reverse. Maybe we could have done a sliding window. I mean, it is kind of essential like a sliding window, but uh, but yeah. All right, let's give it a submit. Hopefully, I don't make any silly mistakes. And yep, there we go. Uh, where's the complexity here, right? And you don't have to do it with Q. You, you probably could. I mean, I don't know. It's easier to understand, I think, or easier. Maybe it's not easy, but um, but yeah, that's just the way that I want to think about it. Uh, I mean, just one. What did I do last time? That's what I'm curious about. Yeah, I mean, what I did is like an implicit previous, so that it that basically pushes the thing like one step behind, so it adds a one step delay. The way the reason why I did it with Q today is so that if you want to say um the problem has its length is at least two if you want to say the length is at least three then you can also change this so it makes it a little bit more flexible but not a big deal either way to be frank uh this is going to be linear time linear space either way not depending on the length requirement because q is going to be linear space 
in this case actually all of two space so actually constant space but if you want to make it a variable uh, and obviously um, lookup is going to be linear space just um, eh, linear ish depending on how you want to say it you can say maybe it's n plus k where k is the size because it just does get limited by k um, as a lookup table um, but <clears throat> definitely a couple of ways you can think about it yeah, um, I'm really tired sorry friends uh, that's all I have for today let me know what you think thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to good mental health I'll see y'all later take care bye bye